Now, the next thing that causes uh, charge hopophobia is laziness. Guys, you gotta stop being lazy out here. King Dre, how does laziness cause charge hopophobia, right? Let me give you some ways, right? And some scenarios, right? Now, one of the things guys get lazy on is their appearance, right? They don't wanna keep themselves up. They don't wanna do the work that it takes to keep themselves attractive, like going to the gym, being, you know, being strict with their diet, watching what put in their mouth, or going to buy clothes, put putting putting clothes together to keep themselves attractive. So what happens is when they get a woman who accepts them, you know, who accepts them not being attractive because you know you have to be attractive, right? You know you have to be attractive to attract women. But when you get a woman who quote unquote accepts you for not being, you know, tip top and they accept you at your your mediocre, your mediocre self, right? Of not being attractive or being, you know, out of shape or being fat or not dressing good. You know, um, you have a lackluster appearance. When you get a woman who accepts that, you cling to that because you know other women are gonna want you to be attractive and you don't wanna be attractive. Well, not that you don't wanna be attractive, you don't wanna put the work in to be attractive. So when you get a woman who seemingly accepts that, right? And a lot of women will accept that so long as you're taking care of her, take care of them and they, they, and, and they getting some benefit from it, uh, especially financially, they'll accept that lackluster shit. Right, but they not gonna be super sexually attracted to you. But anyway, when you get a woman who quote unquote or seemingly accepts that, you hold on to it because you know most women want you to be attractive. Most women are, want you to be appealing to the eye. You don't gotta have like Arnold Schwarzenegger body or something like that. But you know women like nice clothes. You know women like a, a, a guy who's in shape or with a certain type of body type or that gets his hair cut, that, that smells good. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that, that, that puts clothes together nice. You know that most women like stuff like this. So when you get one who you think don't like it, and it ain't that she don't like it, she just benefit from you in other ways. But best believe she on Instagram looking, right? So it ain't that she don't like her guy to be attractive or she don't care about her guy being attractive. You just benefit her more, right? So, but when you get this, woman who seemingly doesn't care it's your everything because you know how much not it's not that you know how much because it's not a lot of work to make yourself attractive but to you in your mind in your mind you know how much work you have to put in to to be attractive and you don't want to do that and so when you get this woman you cling to her right and so now that you cling to her your laziness makes you tolerate bullshit from her because you know you gotta, in order to attract most women, you gotta get your ass up and go to the gym. You gotta, you know, make sure your cologne on point. Get your hair cut every two weeks. Go get you some nice clothes and be attractive. You gotta watch what you put in your body, right? You know this, so in, 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 in you being lazy, you accept the bullshit that comes with the woman who accepted your mediocre appearance. You see what I'm saying? That's one way, guys, you know, one way that guys can be lazy. Another one is for you guys who lack ambition or don't have your shit together or don't want to get your fit situ uh, situation together or don't want to better your finances out of being lazy. The women who accept that, you cling to them, right? And when when, when you cling to them, you tolerate their bullshit because you know most women gonna require you to have your money together or, or, or <clears throat> They're going to require you to at least be stable. You see what I'm saying? Be able to take care of yourself, right? Be ambitious. Uh, be ambitious, sorry. When 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 you get a woman who, again, seemingly doesn't care about that, she your everything, right? Because you can be lazy with her, right? But I want you guys to know something. Women that tolerate lackluster dudes, Dudes who are lazy, especially financially, guys who are broke and don't have ambition, women who tolerate that are sh very sh Trust me. Women who, 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 I'm not saying, uh, you know, women won't get with a guy who has potential because a lot of women will get with a guy if they see potential. 
but women who are okay with you being broke, women who are okay with you not having ambition, women who are who are okay with you not being stable, more than likely is an energy vampire. It's more than likely a toxic woman. And she's you she's 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 clinging to you because you'll tolerate her bullshit. Because she knows you can't get anything. You can't get better than her. Just due to your financial situation. But this comes from laziness. God's not wanting to better their financial situation of uh, the situation. God's not wanting to get their money together. It's because they lazy. It ain't, especially nowadays. There's really no excuses nowadays, especially with the internet, Instagram, YouTube. <clears throat> You can make money anyway nowadays. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's straight laziness. But this laziness causes you to, when you do get something, you hold on to it, right? And when she start disrespecting you and, and, and she ain't treating you right, you scared to let her go. You scared to charge her to the game because you know it's going to be hard for you to get out there with your lazy broke ass and find something else. You see what I'm saying? Women who tolerate guys who are broke with no ambition are toxic. They tolerating guys like that, not tolerating. They targeting guys like that because these are the only guys who will deal with their crap. I'm going to say it again. Women who accept guys with no ambition and who are okay with being broke are toxic. And the only reason that they deal with these guys is it's because they know these guys don't have any other options. They know this. And so these guys who lack ambition, who don't want no money, who don't want to, you know, at least make themselves uh, uh, be to, to get themselves in a position of where they can take care of themselves. They know that these men will put up with their bull crap. They know that guys who getting they sit, who getting their shit together or who have their shit together or have the potential to get their shit together have better options. And they don't have to deal with that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> again, I'm not saying that, you know, women who, a woman won't deal with you while you, you down and out and you trying to get your shit together and you coming, because women will. But side eye to women who are okay with you being broke. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, another another uh, way laziness manifests itself as far as, um, you know, with men go, it's not wanting to put the work in to go even meet women, right? Looking at it like it's a chore to go approach women or again, make yourself attractive to, you know, enough to go talk to women and then not only talk to women, you know, uh, get the numbers, chit chat with them, take them on dates, do all of this whole, you know, participate in the game. Guys who are lazy don't want to do that. You see what I'm saying? And guys who are lazy, when they do get women, Right. When they do get a woman. Again, they tolerate everything. They tolerate disrespect. They tolerate mistreatment because they don't know where the next meal coming from. And so they are scared to let her go. A, a lot of times two guys who are lazy usually trick the most because it's easy. It don't take no more. It don't take no work to do that. You see what I'm saying? But y'all know what tricks get. Tricks are for kids, <laughs> right? Tricks are for kids. But yeah, laziness Laziness is a huge cause for guys having charge of phobia. And this, this laziness manifests in the areas that I was just talking about. And, you know, when you get a woman, this laziness, this laziness, you know, you soak in this laziness and you, just the thought of going to make yourself attractive, the thought of going to get more money, the thought of, of, of you know, going in and getting on a date and dating scene and, you know, going on dates and stuff like that is is it brings dread. To, it just it brings dread. Just the thought of this. So you accept what accepted you, right? But usually, the type of woman that 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 accepts you at this this lazy state is not a good woman, and they're gonna be treating you all types of ways. You see what I'm saying? But you don't want to let that go because you're lazy. Now you, if you let her go in order to get your needs met, <clears throat> if you let her go. In order to get your needs met, you're going to have to get up, go make you some money. You're going to have to get up, go make yourself attractive. You're going to have to go approach women. You're going to have to date, you know, and, 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 and put yourself out there, right? But you don't want to do that because you're lazy.